Hi, I'm Natalie. And in this video, we are gonna look at how to enter a manual journal into Xero. So first off, we're gonna log into Xero and we will be usually brought to our dashboard screen. You can see here I'm in the demo company. So there's many ways to get to the manual journal screen. The quickest and easiest way is to go to the plus button on the blue banner across the top of the screen and click that. From here, we can add any number of new transactions, but we're gonna to focus today on a manual journal. So this is the screen you'll be brought to. You'll notice that we are in a draft state of a journal because we haven't entered anything yet, we haven't saved anything, and we haven't posted anything. So first off, we're gonna to need to say what the journal is for. So this is going to be to add phone interest. Now this journal could be any number of reasons. This one particular today, I'm going to pretend that we've incurred interest on a loan we have. So I'm going to say that it's going to be today's date. I don't want this journal to reverse because this interest will carry on. However, if this was a journal you were entering for prepayments or accruals, then you might want to add in this auto reversing date so that you only have to enter a journal once. You don't have to have to come back and re-enter the journal to strip it back out again for next month. So description here, you'll notice automatically fills according to what I've put in the narration. Now that is because I've got this tick box here, default narration to journal line description confirmed. So this is going to copy down here for me. If I didn't want that to happen, of course, untick the box and you can type in whatever you want for the description. So the account, in this case, I'm going to choose the loan account. There we go. So I'm not going to bother with tracking for this transaction. So I'm going to credit the loan account with £100. It's quite a high interest loan we've got. By tabbing through, you'll notice that I move straight onto the next line. You can, of course, use the mouse and click to the box that you want. And I'm going to type in interest. So we're going to put the interest onto the profit and loss statement. So that will automatically give me my debit balance filled in here to balance out this journal. Any journal that's entered, you won't be able to post it until both the debit column and the credit column are equal. Now, if I wasn't sure that I'd got this right and I wanted to heed this warning at the top and ask my bookkeeper or my accountant to check it for me, I might want to save this as a draft and then drop them a message and ask them to just log in and check that I've done it right and post it for me. If I'm confident that I've done it correctly, I can come over here to post and that will post that journal straight into the accounts. So let's go ahead and post that. So we can now see, if we go into our posted column, we can now see add loan interest is now there as at today's date. So that's great. And if we want to see how that's affected our accounts, we can now go in and have a look at our chart of accounts is possibly the easiest way to show you. There's many ways to do it. We go to the interest. And we can see here interest paid is where I put that to. You can see there we've got our hundred pounds in there. And if we go to our loan account, we'll see here 100 pounds in the loan account. So we can be sure that that journal went incorrectly. So that's it. That's how you enter a journal.